Top of the morning, friends and family. We got an update on five different snakes for you here today that you probably haven't seen for a while on the channel. All not ball pythons. T, what snake are we going to look at first? Shetty Spaghetti. Uh, I think you actually named him Shetty Spaghetti. <laughs> And Shady Spaghetti, of course, is the goat line retic from Reach Out Reptiles. <laughs> goat line being <laughs> Spaghetti. Super dwarf. Stop. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's screaming. He's creeping me out. These are going to be the hardest snakes for you to hold. you got to spread your hands out a little wider so you can hold both the front and the back. There you go. Uh, Shady Spaghetti is, of course, uh, Madu, Kalatoa, and Karampa. <laughs> no. No, I've got that. I've got that totally wrong. Stop. Not Tom Belongin. What is the one? Oh, Shetty Spaghetti is Shetty-ing right now. Look at that. Why does every snake we always want to show off have to be a shed? Look, he's literally shedding right now in your hands. Okay, so he's like shedding all the way to, to the end of his tail. And there's some shed right here. It's like basically going down all the way to his tail. All the shed on my finger is from Shetty Spaghetti. Yep. The reason he's called Shetty Spaghetti, he shed so off. <laughs> Shetty Spaghetti? I didn't know that you were... That's, that makes sense. He's got this, like, kind of crusty look on the top of his head because he's literally <laughs> finished forming his layer of skin and we're shedding, we're shedding right here. Shetty Spaghetti, I guess it's an appropriate, <laughs> appropriately named snake. Sorry, Shetty Spaghetti, <laughs> for interrupting you in the middle of your... Uh, your about ready to shedness. I hope that all the snakes aren't shed in this video because that's just going to be... That's just gonna be too much. It's Karampa, Kalatoa, Sulawesi. Sulawesi, that's the one that's like Sula, which is like a main thing. Dad, but I accidentally at... got some shed off him. All right, let's let Shetty Spaghetti go back into his little happy place. Midnight, he's bigger. Yeah, she's not too big, because the females in uh, Jerry Marcon Cooper I don't get as big as the males. You know, indigo snakes, the male generally gets a bit bigger than the female, <laughs> as a lot of you might know. <laughs> Are you going to hold her? <laughs> so it's a her, not a he. Yeah, she's a her. And we're still planning to work on breeding indigo snakes at some point. I just haven't got a male since her boyfriend passed those years back. I just haven't, um, what's going to get in a male? It's kind of slightly, I don't know, I guess traumatized from what happened with him. But she is stronger. Not, not just that. Also haven't really thought ah. too much about, um, Dad. yeah, just haven't. Seen the right snake. She's fine. She li they like to curl down like that. She's she's good. You got her. <laughs> You're doing perfect. Just stop shaking, and just hold still. You got to do. You know how to hold a snake. Come on. What are you? What are you? A brand new beginner. Pull her back towards you a little bit. Do your best tree impression, and you're good to go. Yeah, midnight. Fantastic, fantastic snake. Okay, so midnight is really beautiful and. Her boyfriend died, but I thought it was the girl who died at first, but now that, that my dad told me, now I know that it was her boyfriend that died. He put in a little grave for her boyfriend, and turns out I don't know if her boyfriend is still there. I know the reason why they he named her Midnight because she's pitch black. Her scales are like really dark black. And she's really squirmy right now. Dad. She's still a cool snake. What's up? She, I'm doing my best tree impression, but she's crawling away. You know why? Because these snakes like to be on the ground. They don't like to be up in trees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dada, is that one mean? No, we don't have mean snakes. Snakes aren't mean. Don't, don't be afraid. Come on, you've had this snake crawl all up in your face. Well, not this exact snake, a different scrub python. But this, of course, is Annette, the female <laughs> that we finally got. Because um, if you if you follow the story of what we've been doing with our scrub pythons, we had two males that we thought were females. It has that, so much shininess. Yeah, definitely. We had, we had two males that we thought one was a female that we raised it for five years, only to find out that one of them was a male when we thought it was a female. Did I say that right? Uh, maybe? Here, you, and... hold, you hold him. Her. <laughs> her. You're her. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> so our, our male, um, Frank, 
is over, you may have saw that video a few months back where he went over with our buddy Calvin to do some potential breeding over there so that we can maybe get somewhere with our scrub python breeding since we were set back so far. Um, so far we got set back with different projects that we're working with. Well, the, the indigo snakes we got set back, scrub pythons we got set back. Um, but it is what it is, you just kind of roll with it and you just enjoy it regardless of all the setbacks. Right, T? I really like the iridescence on her. And she has a little bit of like a really beautiful and shiny belly. Sniffing the table. Gotta keep your head above the table. So no falling off. <laughs> and we thought Jerry the bullfrog was a boy, but turns out he's a girl. Turns out. I've never actually holding that one before. Is that true? I think it is. Okay. Well, you're going to hold her now. This is Holly, our caramel coastal carpet python produced by our friend Travis Johnson over at Living Legless Reptiles. And our buddy Riley actually sent us a mail for this girl <laughs> that we're raising up right now. We'll do an update on that, on that guy later. Um, but yeah, Holly, very beautiful, stunning carpet python. Just doing fantastic. Beautiful head stamp, looking great. What do you think about this snake tea? It's really pretty and kind. Dad. <laughs> what? It she... literally crawled out of my hand. <laughs> yep. I'm giving you the, uh, these are the more advanced snakes to handle. This isn't, this isn't ball python stuff where you can just plop them in your lap and they'll just stay there. They're going to keep moving on you. He's got to keep, <laughs> keep working them. She's okay. really hard to control. I really like that like dark pattern on her. It really makes her beautiful. <sighs> that she's getting a little bit hard to control it's now. Okay, you're doing a good job. She's really like out of control right now. I really like how she does those curves and twirls. <sighs> Come on. Okay, you're doing great. <laughs> she's looking really good today. At least, at least we have one snake that's not in shed. Well, midnight hey, wasn't in shed either. Come on. Hey, you gotta, you gotta kind of have to keep her above the table. Make sure her head just kind of have to guide her like that. There you go. There you go. Now we're now we're talking sauce. Lucky is super small. Lucky is super small. She is a children's python. And T, do you remember the story of Lucky? What happened with Lucky? How we ended up with Lucky? Um, so she was gonna get brain surgery, and but if she got brain surgery, she would die. So then you and Noah rescued her. She was get slated for brain dissection at the uh, local herpetology center, um, Cal Poly. And because she wasn't eating the way they wanted her to eat for the study they were doing, that was going to be the next, the next step. But luckily for us, or luckily for her, lucky for her, uh, we were available to take her on as a pet instead. I get why you named her Lucky. <laughs> yep, and she's also, uh, unfortunately, in shed. Almost every snake in this update has been in shed. So... I think she really likes me. <laughs> I think she really likes you too, T. I mean, who, who, what's, not like, what's not to like, right? Uh, I don't think she makes people trying to kill her. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. I would bet you're pretty pretty right about that. I'm gonna let her crawl around. Okay. <laughs> She's like, cool shot. Camera, what are you doing to me? <sighs> I don't like your camera. I really like the dark color on her hood, and she has a little bit lighter color on her. Like some really light on her. And on her belly, it's really white. Like, almost as white as marshmallows. Great job, T. Really good. But not going off the table. She just wants to stay with me. See? I agree. She's very calm with me. Has Lucky ever been in anybody in nope. our family? Nope, nobody in anybody's family. What? Never. Ever? Ever. Never, ever. I bet she remembers you from the first day you guys met. 
Well, hey, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is a real quick update for you today. We, we've got a lot to do this weekend, so um, it's kind of a short video, just a short update, and next weekend we'll have something pretty in-depth. But And we're going to go camping today. That's what I was talking about. At Santa Margarita Lake. Santa Margarita Lake. But uh, stay tuned for this Wednesday. We'll have a, a Cusco Uncut. I don't know if it would be from camping or not. We'll figure it out later. But uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And leave any comments down below that you might have. And we'll answer your questions down there.